and welcome to the Imagi. In today's video, we're going to be interviewing The Josh Speaks, a YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers. Hey Aplea, my name is Josh from the motivational YouTube channel The Josh Speaks. Firstly, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. I've lived here my whole life, and I've been making videos on YouTube forever, I feel like. I used to record videos with me and my friends wrestling in the park, and then I started to do lots of comedy skits with them, and then eventually that led to me creating my YouTube channel that I have now, The Josh Speaks. Where did you get the idea to make a YouTube channel? I actually created my YouTube channel, The Josh Speaks, on a whim. I was working on another video project at the time, recording a commercial for a company about a little league basketball team, and I ended up showing up late, so they canceled the job. Since I was in the city all by myself with all my camera equipment, I decided to sit down and just record a video all about planning ahead. That video was titled, The Josh Speaks About Planning Ahead. And then from there, I decided to record more videos just sharing my own experiences, things I've gone through, and just things that were on my mind. Can you explain your history of being a motivational speaker? The reason why I started focusing on motivational speaking was because as I started to make more videos sharing my advice and tips on things, I started to notice a trend developing where people were asking lots of questions about the formative experiences that were going to shape their lives, relationships, dating, friendships, school, all these different things that play a key factor in their development. And that's when I realized that I wanted to be that person that was going to help guide all those young people through those stages of their life. How do you come up with the ideas for your videos? A lot of the themes and ideas that I share in my videos come directly from feedback and conversations that I have with my subscribers and my followers on all my social media platforms. Hearing from my audience directly, seeing the things that they're struggling with or needing help with really inspires me to recognize that they're probably not alone in their experience and there are probably so many people out there that could use this advice to help them get through that tough stage. Sometimes I'll talk about dealing with your crush or having to explain a bad grade to your parents or just dealing with self-confidence issues, not believing in yourself. These are things that I know a lot of young people are struggling with, so I want to be the voice to help them get through it. You published the book Embracing the Awkward. Can you tell us a little bit what it's about and how you came up with the idea for it? So this is my book, Embracing the Awkward, and originally when I wrote it, I wanted it to serve as a guide for teens to succeed at school, life, and relationships, the three areas of their life that I feel that they need the most help and guidance in. What I wanted to do was to kind of take a lot of the ideas that I share in my videos and just turn it into a more personal kind of experience. So in this book, I give a lot of advice on how to deal with things, but I also share my personal accounts or personal stories in those moments to teach people how I dealt with them too. And writing a book is something I've always wanted to do because I feel like people learn in so many different ways. So while watching a video is a very visual way of learning, sometimes you may just want to jump into pages and read things so you can highlight them, so you can reread them, so you can have that personal experience all for yourself that you can only get through reading. Do you have any YouTube channels or other motivational speakers that inspire you? There are lots of YouTube creators and motivational speakers that I draw inspiration from. On YouTube specifically, I watch people like Shan Booty or What Would Carla Say or Tim Schmoyer from Video Creators, just as people that I feel really love what they do. They really put their all into their videos and care about creating an amazing experience for the viewer. But overall, I'd have to say the biggest influence on my work is Fred Rogers from Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. It was through watching Mr. Rogers that I recognized that every single person shares two common values. They want to be loved for who they are and they want to know they're capable of loving others. And it was that point specifically that made me realize that there are so many people out there that need to hear that message. The fact that kindness and caring is not part of how we communicate in day-to-day -day experiences made me realize how important it is to incorporate that into every video that I make. You seem to be very knowledgeable about these topics. Did you have experience with them when you were in school? For most of the topics that I cover, I've dealt with those personal experiences myself. Whether it was getting your heart broken, or chasing a crush that was never going to like you back, or just not knowing what you wanted to do once you graduated, I've been there before. So I always feel like I can draw back on my personal experiences, the things I've gone through in school, and how it helped shape me to teach people to not make the mistakes I made, but to also find their own way forward. Do you have any other hobbies besides motivational speaking? 
Besides motivational speaking, I love to read, I love to meditate, I read comics and books, all different kinds of things. I'm just hugely into stories and people's experiences. So if I can ever have an opportunity to learn about someone else, generally that's something I'm interested in doing. Your channel has millions of views, with many videos exceeding the 100,000 view mark. What was your reaction when your channel started to take off? Originally, when my channel started to take off, I was kind of nervous, but also excited. I felt like I was doing the right thing at the time on YouTube. I was creating searchable content, things that people were looking for, and I was providing value. People were watching my videos, people were commenting, people were interacting with it. So I knew I was doing something good. I just had to figure out a way to keep that momentum going, which is what YouTube is all about. Can you tell us one interesting thing that your audience might not know about you? One interesting thing that I don't think a lot of people know about me is that I was actually born on Friday the 13th, which is supposed to be the most unluckiest day of the year. But as the years went on, November 13th actually became recognized as World Kindness Day, which I think is kind of ironic given what I do. What is your five-year goal for YouTube? I would say my five-year goal for YouTube is to travel all around the world, speaking at different schools and in different countries, teaching people the values of kindness, mindfulness, and confidence. Plus, I also wanna bring other creators onto my channel to share their stories and experiences, because I feel like each and every single one of us has our own individual journeys, and eventually, that's something I'd love to feature on my channel. Thank you for allowing us to interview you. Thank you for having me on. I think it's awesome when creators can come together and just create something meaningful. So thanks for having me here. As always, love and peace. Be sure to check out Josh's YouTube channel, The Josh Speaks. We'll link it down below. And be sure to subscribe to the Amagi and check out some of our previous videos.